Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Well, hello there, my beautiful Pisces. I hope you are all doing well. Thank you for all the beautiful likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions, the donations to my channel. It is greatly appreciated and well received more than you will ever know. So before we get into the reading, as usual, my beautiful Pisces, I am going to be putting down the good old fashioned holy water. So good in the neighborhood, Pisces. <clears throat> So, you know what time it is, don't you? I do. Tarot's now in session. Most Honorable Judge T. T. Young presiding. Mm, excuse me. You can all do whatever you want. So, we're going to check in on the energy of that person you're dealing with. Or whatever energy could be potentially approaching you. Like I always tell you, it could very well be your own energy. Whatever the case is, we will get it. We will hit it. And we will quit that shit together like we always do, baby. Yeah, yeah. Whew, there's a lot of light. It's the sunlight, guys. It's the sunshine. Everybody likes the sunshine. Whew. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Oh, ouch. Right in the face. Holy bejesus. Oh, we got another card down here. Ow. Oh, boy. Let me get a protection stone. That looks like my tongue. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had the Ace of Cups fly out. And it flew out and it hit me. Almost where the good Lord split my brain in half. <laughs> Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. Okay. Well, she's covered, but I just don't ever know. I don't trust you to. I'll just put Anthony's protection star over the beautiful Empress's boobies. Okay. Show me the energy of the person my beautiful Pisces is dealing with. I can't say... Well, if you're a man and you wear a kilt, they really like it when you wear a kilt. And if you're a woman and you wear a dress... They really like it when you wear a dress. Okay. So, subconsciously, this person's starting to get some kind of different point of view here. Mm-hmm. I'm almost getting some kind of confusion um, around this world card for some reason. Like, there's something here where your person is confused about something. There's, I'm just getting, there's a confusion, confusion around the world. What's, what's going, well, isn't there confusion around the world in general these days? I will just say that. All right. Well, it's like somebody here has got some good old golden feelings for you. Yep. Your person, I don't know. There's all kinds of stuff going on here. We're getting the letter N. I'm getting the letter L, I'm getting F, and I'm getting Y. There's also an M here, and an H. I don't know why, but I'm just picking up stuff today. Okay, alright, the devil. Okay, it looks like maybe the two of you are feeling bound here to the devil's tongue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't speaking tongues, okay? And if it's not the devil's tongue and speaking tongues, well, do I need to say more? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know. I don't... Dudes, I've never said that in my entire life. Not out here, no. Never. I don't think I've ever said it in my life at all, period. This is getting weird. Okay, we're going to talk to the Empress first. We're going to see what's going on with her. Why is this showing up in this person's energy? Why is the Empress in this person's energy? Why is the Empress in this person's energy? Whoa. 
Why is the Empress here in this person's energy? Wow. This is you. Yep, Pisces, this is you. This person sees you as some kind of... They see you as healing. First and foremost. Very attractive. You're very grounded. This person views you, literally, as their sun and as their moon. So this person... Sees you, and I'm going to tell you something with temperance here. Um, so temperance is usually the the figure on the temperance card. Sorry about the lighting, by the way. I know. Let me put my hand over the sun. Let me put my hand over the sun. That's funny. So the thing of it with temperance, it's about what balanced feminine and masculine energy, usually depicted on the card of temperance is uh the androgen which has it's there there's no it's neutral energy so it's very balanced and what do we have down here on the table we've got the divine masculine energy of the sun and we have the divine feminine energy of the moon so this person sees you as somebody who is very balanced not only in your masculine energy but in your feminine energy. So that is a complete turn on. Which makes you very relatable to either side. And it makes you very fluid as well. Okay? And I don't know. Maybe you're fluid with your sensuality. Maybe you go both ways. I don't know. That's fine. You can do whatever you want. I don't really care. I I'm I'm just got to... Because all this energy is here. So I'm pinpointing all this energy out because it is here. Just because, you know, we're focused on one thing. There's other energies that are always, there's another layer. So I'm seeing all these layers. So you have some of the most, this is completely beautiful energy. This is one, you're one high vibing person. Whether you're a man or a woman, I don't care. You are high vibing. And this person knows it. So, let's talk to the world. Because there's confusion around this. All I'm getting is, con I'm just picking up, there's confusion. What What is this confusion that I'm picking up around the world here? What is this confusion that I'm picking up here? I'm picking up this person's like confused here with this energy. What is this? What are they confused about with this world? I mean, you'd be confused about with the world. There's separation. There's distance here. What's going on? You guys could be having, there could be separation and distance. Look, there is. So. This is all, it's literally what I just said. There's separation and there's distance. It could be a physical distance, okay, with the Six of Swords. Or it could be an emotional distance with the Four of Swords. I feel strongly that it's both. It's both. They feel some kind of sense of physical distance and they feel some kind of sense of, like, emotional distance because the four of swords when you get into the four of swords it's kind of like the three of swords and the three of swords is an emotional card okay so there is some kind of emotional separation and there is some kind of physical separation which is very confusing here with the world let's get one more on that world Let's get one more on that world. Let's get one more on that world. Let's get one more on the world, please. One more on the world. Sure. Okay. Yep, and there is a block. 
So there's a block here. It, it, with the four and the six of swords, there's some kind of emotional, emotional and a physical block, which isn't allowing this world to, to, to evolve, to turn. Okay, well, let's talk to the devil's tongue, shall we? <laughs> oh my God! Maybe there's a maybe there's literally a, they feel chained to your tongue. Maybe you guys are both chained to each other's tongues here. I hope not. What's going on with the devil's tongue today? <laughs> I should get an Academy Award for the tongue sound effect. Okay. We're going to get one more on that with the Nine of Wands and the Devil. Okay. Well, what was that? Okay. So, this person. Mm. They feel surrounded in this devil energy. And I feel like you know that they're surrounded in this devil energy. I don't think, I, I think this person's realizing it slowly. But what do they want to do? They want to get out of this energy, whatever this is. They don't like this energy of the devil's tongue at all because it's like surrounded them. And I feel like you're on the outside looking in and you're seeing that this person is surrounded in devil energy and this person knows they are and they want to get out of this devil energy fast. Like, they can't get out of, it, out of it fast enough. Okay. Interesting devil's tongue. So let's talk to the uh, Ace of Cups. What's going on with the Ace of Cups in this person's energy? Ace of Cups in this person's energy. What's going on with this? What's going on with this? But the way this person, in view, like, they view you is one of the most incredible ways that you could view somebody. And I'm not saying that lightly. I really mean that. I really... Yep. So this is about... What's happened here is the devil is literally been harnessing this person from coming in and telling you how they feel. And now it's like they've realized what this devil energy has been doing. It's been keeping them blind. It's been keeping them stuck. It's been keeping them on their toes. And somebody is done with this shit. Yes, done with this shit. And they're gonna come and tell you just how they feel. This person may play a song for you. They might be sitting here right now this very second. M playing music or playing a song about how they feel about you. And this is like a priming them up for being able to get enough cojones to come in here and finally get out of this devil energy and just open up. This is beautiful energy. I like this. I'm going to leave it here for now. If this reading resonated or you want to claim it, you can like, share, comment, subscribe. I'd claim this all day if I was you. At least this energy. Tarot's adjourned.